up for Odds Checker. I'm your host, Melissa, joined by the sharpest of betters, Matt and Slop. And we have a special guest today, Jonathan Papelbon. How are you doing, guys? Like, what is going on? I haven't seen you guys since Friday. I've never seen Jonathan before. What's going on? Living the dream. Likewise. Yeah, you know, uh, I'm chilling down here at the beach house. And, um, you know, y'all, I just started this podcast deal and I'm back in the game now. So, uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm an avid gambler. So, uh, I love that. Your role, man. You came to the right place. Oh, we love that. What is your favorite sport to gamble on? Well, I would actually say um, baseball, but it wasn't the type of uh, gambling that you would do with the books or anybody else. It was actually sitting in the bullpen, um, side betting all the guys in the bullpen all the time, whether or not, um, you know, we, I, my favorite bet was we would go over or under on the amount of beers a fan would drink a lot. You know, so <laughs> that's <fun>. <laughs> <laughs> we had this like really drunk guy. We'd give him, you know, probably a twelve or a fifteen over under. You know, <laughs> so um, you know that, and then we, I mean, li literally, it would be you know, uh, base hit here. I give you two to one on a base hit, or uh, I bet you a hundred for a strike uh, for a strikeout right now. You know, so it was like literally. I mean, so all you pretty time. much invented player props. Essentially. Yeah. <laughs> it was. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Um, we can just get straight into it. Uh, Slop is looking at the Reds who are taking on the Marlins. Marlins are favored on the run line at minus one and a half. Slop doesn't care about that. And we got someone from the circle of trust, if I'm not mistaken. I th is he in? I um, think he is. He me. should be. He should be. <laughs> if, if he's not, then I made a mistake and I forgot to put him in. But right. I know it's uh, Sandy Alcantara. I don't want to go over seven and a half, but if I'm going to do it, I'll do it with him and I'll do it against the Reds. They, all right, look, over the last seven days, they've been striking out like, like it's their job. We're talking like 69 strikeouts, 229 at bats. So that's the opponent we're looking for. Alcantara in July has been legit. Like, you got to take out the two starts against the Mets. He only got five in this. In, and one of them and four in the other one, those don't even count because you would never take him against the Mets. You would never take anybody against the Mets. The other three, though, we're talking 10 against the Pirates, 12 against the Phillies, 10 against the Angels. Those are all strikeout teams just like the Reds. It's seven and a half plus 140. I mean, we're talking plus 140 here. It's a must bet. Got to do it. You have to. Our hands are tied. Yeah. No, I don't want to. I already said I didn't want to, but I have yeah. to. Just got forced into it. Yeah. All right, guys. For our next picks, we got Matt, who's taking on the Baltimore Orioles facing the Texas Rangers. Rangers are also favorited on the money on the run line. Matt, take it away. All right, I'm going to back the Rangers here. So I know a lot of people don't like to feed the Orioles, uh, although they they were sellers there at the deadline. We saw them move on from Mancini Lopez. It's Martin Perez on the mound today, 9-2, and 2-5-2. Two, two, two. Probably the best year of his career. He was an all-star. I was kind of surprised he didn't get moved at the deadline, but he's staying here in Texas nonetheless. I think they bounce back and get the win today. Kyle Bradish on the mound for the O's. He's 1-4 and four with a 7-0-1 ERA. That's not good uh, for a pitcher. Not good. Seven, yeah, <laughs> not the best. So I'm going to fade that there. I'm going to trust Texas bounces back uh, and gets the win today with Perez on the mound. This line's continue to steam up. I see now it's at minus 150, 155 some places. So we're trying to lock this in now. I think they get the win at home today. All right. They are playing at Globe Life Field. So I don't know anything about Globe Life, but we'll see what happens. Never been there. <laughs> Never been there. Is that one of the places we want to go to, though? It's, it's I'd okay. go. I'd go. Nice. Sounds nice. You ever been there, Papa Bon? Globe Life? Yeah. No, no. Never been to Globe Life. No. Mm -mm. All sure. right, guys. As for me, I'm keeping it short and simple. Uh, John, you're going to have to tell me if you like this one. I know Matt does. I am taking a strikeout prop, which means Slop does too. You Whoa. guys, everyone Whoa. is happy with this. What thing. happened there? Well, <laughs> this is I new. Thought, okay. I honestly thought Matt was going to take the Phillies today, which is why I did it. There you go. No, I, not so. I am taking Zach Wheeler on the mound over on his strikeout prop. Six and a half, almost even money, minus 102. He's Who are they playing? 
they're playing the Wait, Atlanta Braves. That, ooh, and he said and 10 strikeout props in his strikeouts, rather, in his last two games. So I feel like we're going to do this. He, against the Pirates, he had eight in his last start. Um, I don't see why this doesn't hit. It, see, Atlanta loves to strike out. So what do you guys think? Sounds good. I like it. I think Wheeler's been pitching really, really good lately. Um, you know, Wheeler's – Wheeler's. Uh, I think he's found his own. You know, I've watched him a lot the last few years, man, and he's – as a pitcher, when I look at a pitcher, he's um, kind of almost coming into his own, you know. He's starting to, like, really command the strike zone a lot better when you can do that. Um, you know, strikeouts are going to happen, but – Ooh, it's a lot of strikeouts. That's a lot, man. <laughs> it is. We'll see. I, I was living on the edge. John is seven and a half, though. Yeah, no, that's a lot. That's, I hate <laughs> going that high. Let's see what happens. Jonathan, be honest. Could you still pitch? You look like you could still go. Yeah, you know, um, a lot of people have asked me that. Um, in fact, last year I, um, I go to Fenway and I throw out the first pitch at the uh, ALCS. And was it a strike or a ball? It was a ball, but they clocked me at 91. I mean, that's and, uh, yeah. Oh, that'll work. I mean, yeah, but see, here's the problem. I'm 42 years old now. <laughs> and, um, you know, I was probably sore for about three days afterwards, you know? Okay. So, okay. The, the ability to recover is just, just, just be a ground ball guy. Yeah, maybe, just you know, ball. but, you know, you know me, man. I, I, like I was saying earlier, man, I want the punch out, you know? <laughs> no, nah, I hear you. I hear you. That's got to feel good. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's the best. Hey, All one right. more question. One more especially question. You, did, did you, you – go ahead. Especially when you can punch somebody out to win the World Series, you know? I, mean, I yeah, wanted I mean, to I ask thought, you about that. Yeah. <laughs> the well, show. that's kind of my question. Uh, did your dog really eat that ball from 07? Um, what <laughs> is this? A uh, final out ball? Yeah, you know, uh, that's my story, and I'm sticking to okay, it. Okay, I was about to say, you, you just lose it. I mean, yeah, things well, get lost, it happens. It's a better story like that. Yeah. It's all, you know, the dog ate my homework. It worked okay, out. no, I like it, I like it. Yeah. Okay. Dogs eat stuff. Yeah. It's a thing. No, it happens all the time. Yeah. Yeah, so. <laughs> it's right. believable. I like it. My we, won't, we won't tell anybody. Doesn't need anything. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> but... Pat, Pat, before we get to your pick, since Melissa did a Phillies pick, I'm asking you about the Philly fans because I'm a Phillies fan. Okay. What, what was your feeling on on the Philly fan base and, and the fans and everything like that? So I like the Phillies fans. I really do. Um, right. But there's always a but to it, you know. Like I feel like. Um, when you're a fan of a sport, you have to understand what the players go through. Right. And you have to try to understand that, you know, they are all human. They're not machines. Mm -hmm. And I think the Philadelphia fans have a hard time realizing that we are human and um, that we're not machines. Yeah. So, um, you know, like the only gripe I ever had with them was when I, I think I had reeled off 30 something saves in a row. Not bad. Um, and um, I think I blew one save in the middle of like August. I was probably hungover as hell. And like they literally booed me as I was walking off the field. So, you know, I grabbed my stuff at them. You know, Joe West kicks me out of the game. Well, then I get in a fight with Joe West. And it wasn't good. But. You know, look, man, we go through a lot. When you grind through a season, you go through a lot. Mm -hmm. I feel like, you know, when you're making that grind, you know, there's you're not going to be perfect every night. So I think if the Philly fans could just realize that, you know, you're not going to win every game, Philadelphia. You're just yes. not. You know, <laughs> Especially the Eagles. Something they haven't got yet. Yeah, the Eagles. Let me tell you something about the Eagles, bro. The Eagles <laughs> going to struggle so much this year. And my boy, AJ, is I, – I, I'm so mad. You know, he's a Mississippi guy. Yeah. Know? He's from Starkville, right? That's where I went to school. I was so mad that he goes to Philadelphia, man, because he's going to freaking rot and die there. And – 
Like, dude, if you're A.J. Brown, you go to an Aaron Rodgers, you go to a Tommy Brady, you go, man, you don't go to a Jalen Hurt. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> you can't really throw the ball that well. Well, I think they were best friends or something, so maybe that maybe that was oh, why. Oh, that bullshit. Best <laughs> friends, so no, no. <laughs> you can be best friends off the field. You know what oh, I mean? Right? Best friends on the field. No. Well, I'm, I'm happy to have them, but I feel you. Yeah. Hurt, hurt struggles to throw sometimes. Yeah. Well, with all that being said, um, do you, are y'all want my pick? I, I want to hear your yeah, pick. I want to hear the pick. We need to hear the pick. I, I'm going to kind of – Parlay off of Melissa. I'm not going to take the strikeouts, but I'm going to take Philadelphia today on the run line. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> look, they're playing the Nationals, bro. They're, they just lost the best player on the planet. Um, I played for their organization, and when that happens, you feel like, why am I showing up for work? All right. Like, they have no reason to play anymore. Like, their best player just left. Everyone's like, we suck now. They know it, so. They might I be a strikeout team now. They could be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what What were your, thought, what were your thoughts on that trick? Is, you, is that the same ownership that when you were there, or is it, is it new now? No, same ownership. Same big ownership. Jewish family that is a big uh, contract. <clears throat> Excuse me. They're big contractors. Okay. So yeah, I was shocked to see that move. Yeah, I've look, seen a yeah. list of all the guys that they turned. Uh, I think it was Trey Turner, Soto, Rendon, yeah. Uh, yeah. Harper. Like they Harper. turned them into like literally nothing. Yeah. So here's the deal: literally. you had two of the best players on the planet, Harper and Soto. You couldn't win with. Them. Right. Yeah, it's bad. So you think Harper is one of the best players? Yeah, I think he he's one of them. Yeah, I mean he's a he can change the game. Okay. Yeah. Well, then you're going to have to explain to me what was going through your head during that punch. <laughs> um, can we cuss? Yes. Did, did they punch him or did you choke him? Is that our? It's just, look, man, it's just one of those things. Like, I've got, I've, when I was a rookie, I had my ass kicked more than that, you know? <laughs> it's just one of those things where, you know, you have a conversation with somebody you expect something, it's not done, it's thrown in your face, and I mean, when someone says fuck you, you fucking pussy to me, I'm I'm not. <laughs> you had enough, right? That, that's fair. I, that's totally I feel fair. like that's crossing a line. That's, that that's makes four, sense. Leave that, 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 yeah. that out too. So. Yeah. I mean, look, at the end of the day, it really wasn't that big a deal. Yeah, it's, it probably happens a lot more than we know, right? Oh, like, like, guys don't like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, you get to fight with somebody in your friends the next day. Like, that's what yeah, happens. Exactly. Like, it happens all the When I was a 23-year-old rookie, Jason Baratek whooped my ass daily. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> right. It's yeah. Right. yeah, helped out. Yeah. All right, Jonathan, you have to give us your pick for the day. We're all tailing you already. We don't even need to know what you like. He likes the Mets. No, I like the Phillies against the Nationals. For sure. Okay. Oh, they're really playing the Braves. That's ah. uh, the Mets, Mets, Nationals, Braves, <coughs> Phillies. Oh, yeah, Braves, Phillies. Bassett goes against the Nationals. He should own them. Look, and here's the thing is, this is the way I bet, and I'll give you a little insight. As a former player, I know when you play on a shitty team, it's hard to win. Mm-hmm. And when you're on a good team, it's easier to win. So I like to bet good teams versus bad teams. Okay. okay. I like it. All right, guys. Well, we got all our picks, um, and we're going to build a YOLO parlay. So, John, on our show, every, after we tally up the picks, we put it in a parlay, and we guess the odds. Super simple. I just need to know what the odds are for the Phillies run line. I'm usually the best at this. I think they're minus 110. Oh, perfect. John, see, it's almost even money. You love that. Yeah. I do like that. Pretty much plus like that. That's a, That's respectable stuff right there. We got a plus 140, minus 145. Ooh, that was Matt. <laughs> minus 102, and a minus like 110. I'm not good when there's four. I, three, I'm better at. Yeah, now, now I'm better at. Yeah, if I was better at math, I'd be able to tell you. 
Hang on, hang on. Guys, we're going to parlay these odds to mo- uh, together. Matt, I'll let you go first. All right, I'm going, I'm going 780. Okay. Slop. I'm going to go plus 781. Yeah, see, this is why I never win. <laughs> you guys take advantage of it. I'm going to go plus 800. And I'll go plus 801. There we I go. Like That's it. how you get back, that Smart move. That's a bet move. <laughs> He's already getting familiar with the mm-hmm. show. All right, guys, we're gonna calculate this up. Wow! Ah, it looks good like good job, Matt. We weren't close. <laughs> <laughs> we are not gonna the fourteen. Well, Pat wins. Right? One. Yeah, yeah. No, it automatically wins. That's a win there. It's yeah, I, I must have not have carried the zero or something. Yeah, I got screwed up somewhere, somewhere. down the line there. That's something else. Again, no, it's the four. It's the four. I can't do the four. I can do three. <laughs> Before I had to cheat. So the odds on this parlay is plus 1433. That's a pretty impressive That's a, that's a good day right there, yeah. That is you a hit good one of those, day. 100 bucks, turn into 14. So, Jonathan, thank you so much for coming on the show. We had a lot of fun. Matt and Slop, we will see you guys on Friday again for some more picks. As for me, I'm just hoping that the Phillies don't disappoint me. Sometimes Matt does, so, like, you know, the hopes aren't that high. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't be the first <laughs> time. Wouldn't be the first time. Thank you. For mm-hmm. Odd Checker, we brought you another episode of Sharp Bets today, and we will see you guys on Friday. Happy betting.